Hello, welcome back to Benny's Sake. I'm your girl Benny, and today I wanted to kind of talk about something that I see a lot online and it low key pisses me off. This topic is none other than low maintenance friendships. When I tell you this topic makes my body hot, very hot, I want it to happen here and just like, you know, share my little two cents. I made a post about it on Instagram, but I wanted to do a much longer video and just like, you know, let's have this conversation. You guys let me know your thoughts down below as we converse. And uh, before we get started, please go ahead and subscribe, turn on the notification bell so that you always know when I upload. And also make sure that you're following me on IG where you get to see me sharing thoughts like this because I shared a little snippet of what I think on my social media, but I just wanted to do an in-depth conversation on this topic. So. If you have Instagram or you have TikTok or you have Snapchat, I am on all those three platforms, but I'm mostly active on Instagram. So definitely check me out. Uh, the handle is right here. Definitely check me out. So let's just go ahead and get started, okay? I often really just like see people posting this. The sentiment is always like, I'm such a low maintenance friend. You can literally go on about your day, like hit me up after six months, nine months, and we'll just like, you know, go on like nothing really ever happened. Or it would be one of those things where like, I'm such a low maintenance friend, like I'll disappear on you or ghost you for like however long, but there's no hard feelings. Whenever I see you, I see you, but you know, just know that I got you and this, that, and the third. And I'm just kind of like, if we're gonna say that, let's not call it friendship. That sounds to me like that's an acquaintance. That sounds to me like somebody you know, somebody you've hung out with here and there, somebody you're just kind of like cool with, but that's not your friend. If you're gonna call somebody your friend, I don't know who said this, I believe it was Lovey Ajayi Jones. She said, the people that are my friends, I have responsibility towards their care. I could not agree more. You know what I'm saying? So I always see posts like that and I'm just kind of like, yeah, I just don't know what you're talking about. I saw this post by this woman. Uh, I think her name is Hannah and I'm going to read to you what the post actually says. And when I tell you that warmed my heart, it just like warmed my heart so much. And I'm just like, thank you. Thank you that there are other people out there that somehow think like me and I'm not just so obsessed with this, you know, loose way of viewing friendship. Like, no, I don't think that's right. But anyways, this is the post. She says, marriage of friends. My life is filled with the souls of women I love the ones who make my belly ache from laughter, who catch my tears, who show up on my doorstep to celebrate and grieve, who defend me when I'm unkind to myself. Those women will love my children, dance as we age, protect my secrets, share in my joy, sing even when we're sinking in sorrow. They walk close, promising their lives to me, a marriage without a wedding, a commitment without a ring. If you have these women to remember, the soulmate is a wonderful thought, but look how beautiful these love stories are. Look how they make you fall. That's friendship. Again, I want to be very clear because the people that I just know in my life, I don't go out of my way to call them. I don't go out of my way to overly make plans and months and months and months can go. When we link up, we link up that school. But those people, I will not sit here and say those people are my friends. Those people are acquaintances. When I'm talking about friends, I'm talking about your core group. And I feel like for us to make low maintenance the standard for friendship, that to me is wrong. And I feel like a lot of people that say that, this, I may be wrong, but I'm going to say what I say. A lot of people that say these things are usually one, they've never experienced like commitment in friendships. They've always just had people that are extremely flaky, nobody that has been consistent, nobody that has been committed to show up for them as a friend. And so as a result that they think that's just what friendship is. Or it could also be people that essentially maybe they've had friends in the past that they showed up for and those people did not reciprocate, you know, that commitment or that love or that care or whatever have you. And so because of that, they may be bitter and they're just kind of like, 
they no longer show up. They no longer want to actually commit to friendship. They no longer just want to put, you know, their best foot forward. They're all hardened and stuff like that. And while I understand both of those scenarios, we should not lower the standard to friendship, the standard of friendship to basically saying people can just like walk in and out of your life like a revolving door whenever they feel like. That's at least in my opinion, that ain't how I do friendship. In my friendships, I'll show up for you. If you need me, I'm gonna be there. Most of the people that I've been friends with, you're gonna hear from me at least once a week. I don't think that's too hard to ask for. Now, I'm not saying be that kind of person that doesn't have a life, all you do is just like breathing down on your friends. I'm not saying that. We're all working, we're chasing the bag, we have careers, we have relationships, we have family, we have all those different things. But at the same time, we were meant to exist in community. And how are we gonna exist in community if you're over here in West Bamba Hell and I don't hear from you like six, nine months, and then you show up and announce like, hey girl, what's up? Like, between that time, you don't know what could have happened to me. I don't know what could have happened to you. So if you're my friend or I'm your friend, I need to be able to be there for you. You know what I'm saying? I need to be able to be there for you if you're sad or you're happy or we're celebrating. There's just like so many things. And I honestly think that people that be saying that, some of you are low-key lying. Some of you are low-key falling into that group that you've never had somebody show up for you. And so you have this idea of friendship as a defense mechanism so that you not get your feelings hurt. And so be like, I'm just having a low-man friend. Lies. If really friendship was just like this low maintenance thing that we've made it out to be, if that's all it was, then shows like Insecure will not be as successful. Shows like Girlfriends will not be as successful. Living single. Friends, there's so many shows that have been successful just off of the premise of friends that have been committed to each other, friends that have been there for each other for however many years, whole friendships and people that show up for you, people that are there for you as you're transitioning from school, from career, from relationships, as we saw with you know Mali and uh, Issa and stuff like that. That's friendship. Now, you're gonna have your ups and downs, you're gonna have like disagreements, this, that, and the third. But at the root of it, you want your friends to be a part of your life. Again, the people that you categorize that you can just go on about months and months and years without talking to them, those are people you know. And if that's what you're talking about, that's fine. But if these are your friends, these are your friends, you're gonna go months without hearing it from your friends, that, I don't know. It's a no for me. It really is enough for me. That doesn't make any sense to me because I don't want to compare, you know, apples and oranges. But would you even wonder from a partner, like somebody that you're interested in romantically, to just like show up whenever they feel like it, just unannounced, and then ghost you, and then show up again? You would not want that. You would want consistency. You would want care. You'd want a whole lot of things from the said relationship and friendships and nothing different. So if you're not gonna accept that as from your romantic relationship, you're not gonna accept that from your family, why on earth that we made this a thing? Some people say low maintenance as far as like, we don't have to do anything fancy, you can just come over, we'll have a glass of wine, or we'll just like sit to do nothing. That is not low maintenance. That's, you know, being on a budget, that's you trying to be mindful, that's you not having too much time to plan extraordinary things. Like, at one point I had a friend where literally every Sunday, that was like our date today, we would just hang out. It was rarely ever anything. We were in college then. Nobody had money to be out here, you know, partying it up every night. Like, sometimes we just went to church. Sometimes we had worship. Sometimes, you know, she came over my house. We would talk for like a few hours and she was tired and she wanted to take a nap. She napped away. I went on my phone, did my thing. But the thing is, there was a community. And in those times, we're talking about life, we're sharing ideas, we're growing together. It doesn't have to be a grand thing, but for us to really diminish friendship to this whole low maintenance, flaky, ghosting each other type kind of vibe, nah fam, nah. You don't lose nothing by showing a little affection towards the people that are in your life. You don't have to keep acting like everybody and everything is disposable. I feel like that's more so for like our generation. I don't know, but it's like some of y'all are too cool for friendships. Some of y'all are too cool for literally anything that requires any type kind of commitment. Stop it. And if the pandemic, the panini, the pancake taught us anything is that this life is very, very, very short. 
spend it with the people you love, cultivate the relationships that matter to you. This doesn't mean that you go around and have 10, 11 types kind of friends. At no point in my life have I ever had more than two friends at a time. Because my friendships require commitment and so I'm not able to spread myself too thin and we're able to like you know have a community just build and laugh and those are like your people they have your back if something is happening like they just like we see each other you can't have that with these low maintenance things that people are glorifying these days you know if you don't have friends in your life pray seek the lord and do some work some self-reflecting work to figure out why you don't have any friends but let's stop Let's stop running around town talking about no maintenance, no, 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 no maintenance. All right, y'all, I'm done renting. Thank you so much for tuning in on my channel. I hope you enjoyed this kind of video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below what your thoughts are. Are you that kind of friend and what is your reasoning? Did I cover some of it? And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so that you always know when I upload. And remember to follow me on all other platforms. You'll find me at Benny's Take on Instagram, TikTok, and Snapchat. All right, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.